Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to the final two chapters of Ruby Volume 1. Um, very interesting, I'm surprised it's gone so quick to be honest, but I guess I was watching um, two chapters you know, per week. It's only really been eight weeks that it's taken. Um, so yeah, we're on. We're going to be on to Volume 2, I guess, um, come next week. And yeah, last week we ended up seeing uh, Jean kind of you know, finally stand up to the bullies with a little bit of help. Um, you know, he killed, well, he decapitated one of the uh, big bear beasts, um, which is pretty cool, I thought. Um, I think we've got a couple of fairly sizable chapters here, so um, it should be good. And hopefully we'll have a bit of an interesting finish to the season. I'm not entirely certain as to where it's going to go, because again, the last few episodes have focused on John. And it looks like he's um, kind of overcome his issues now. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Anyway, enough chat. Let's react. Veil. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. I don't think I've ever seen you smile this much. I was gonna say I don't know what veil is. I'm weirding me out. <laughs> How could you not smile? A festival dedicated to the cultures of the world. Ah. Parades, a tournament. Sounds okay, like the place I don't want to go. That goes into this event is simply breathtaking. You really know how to take a good thing and make it sound boring. Quiet, you. <laughs> Remind me again why we're spending our Friday afternoon visiting the stupid docks. Oh, they smell like fish. I've heard that students <laughs> visiting from Vacua will be arriving by ship today. And as a representative of Beacon, I feel oh, as though no. it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. <sighs> she wants to spy on them, so she'll have the yeah. upper hand in the tournament. Uh, you can't prove that. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's from the first episode, isn't it? That's um the jewelry shop where they had the What happened here? The crystals. Uh, the second dust shot to be hit this week. Yeah, the dust. The place is turning into a jungle. Oh, that's terrible. They left all the money again. Uh-huh. Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. Who needs that much dust? I don't know. An army? You thinking the uh white fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. White fang. The white fang. What an awful bunch of degenerates. What's your problem? Who are they? My problem. I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. They're a collection of misguided faunists. Misguided? Uh oh. They want to wipe humanity off the face of the planet. So then they're very misguided. Either way, it doesn't <laughs> Yeah, that kind of sounds like they're psychotic. In the middle of downtown Vail. Hmm. Blake's got a point. Besides, the police never caught that Torchwick guy I ran into a few months ago. Maybe it was him? That still doesn't change the fact that the White Fang are a bunch of scum. Those faunas only know how to lie, cheat, and steal. That's not necessarily true. Hey, stop that faunas! I don't know enough. Oh, what? <laughs> he's got a tail? Thanks for the ride, guys! <laughs> oh, yeah, he's like, um... You no good stowaway! <laughs> hey, a no good stowaway would have been caught. I'm a great stowaway. Isn't there a girl hey, who's a fawn? Get down from there this instant. That guy just reminds me of Vince Russo. For anyone who's a wrestling fan. The New York accent. And the, the bushy beard. God, I hate Vince Russo. Oh, slow mo guy moments. <laughs> well, Lice, you wanted to see the competition. And there it goes. Quick, we have to observe him. Oh. oh. Who did she just run into? No, oh, he's gone anyway. No uh -huh. uh. Salutations. Um, hello. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. What's Thank around you your know. neck? Do you? You're a bit weird. Yes. 
Yeah. My name is Penny. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm I think Ryan. she's a few pennies Wait, short of a pound. Oh, I'm Yang. It's a pleasure to meet you. You already said that. So I did. Definitely a well, few pennies short of a pound. Take care, friend. Uh oh. She just said friend. She was weird. No. Is she going to think that they're going to be friend? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. Yeah. I definitely didn't think you heard me. <laughs> well, not you. She said friend. You. Me? Uh, I I don't know. I what I um uh, you called me friend. Am I really your friend? Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys. Oh, is this what it was like? So surely that? awkward. No, she seems far more coordinated. So, what are you doing in Vale? I'm here to fight in the tournament. Wait, you're fighting in the tournament? I'm combat ready. Forgive me, but you hardly look the part. What's her weapon? Wearing a dress. It's a combat skirt. Yeah. Yeah, they both got combat skirts. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you're here for the tournament, does that mean you know that monkey-tailed rapscallion? The who? The filthy fathers from the booth. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? An accurate that? drawing. Huh? Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. He's a person. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Slight Would racism. Like stop referring to the trash can as a trash can? Or this lamppost as a lamppost? Stop it! What? Mm, she's slightly prejudiced, I guess. Give him time, he'll probably join up with those other faunists in the white thing. So the white thing all faunists. How dare you talk to me like that? I am your teammate. You are a judgmental little girl. What in the world makes you say that? Uh, I think we should probably go. Yes. Bail. Away from you. As you believe him to be. So you admit it. The White Fang is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I don't understand why this is causing such a problem. <laughs> that is the problem. You realize you're defending an organization that hates humanity, don't you? The faunus of the White Fang are pure evil. There's no such thing as pure evil. Why do you think yes, they there hate is. humanity so much? It's because of people like Cardin, people like you, that forced the White Fang to take such drastic measures. People like me? She sounds a bit like a sympathizer. I'm a victim! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? Why I don't particularly trust the Faunus? Uh oh, sad backstory. Because they've been at war with my family for years. War as an actual bloodshed. My grandfather's company has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear, board members executed, an entire train car full of dust stolen. And what are they using the dust for? My father would come home furious, and that made for a very difficult childhood. Twice I no. You want to know why? So is that dad the head of like a big dust company? We. Uh oh. I. She's a faunist or fawn. Wait, wait, come back. Where's her tail? Everyone's got secrets here, haven't they? Does she keep it tied up in her hair? I knew you would look better without the. Oh, she's the, she's got the ears. That's why he knew. That's why he winked at her. She's been 
gone all weekend. Blake's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. Weiss, come on. She's one of our teammates. Is she? We all heard what she said. Weiss. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Either way, she's missing, and we need to find her. A member of the White Faith, right underneath our noses. I just hope she's okay. Mm, she was never really a member of the White Thing, was she? I thought she was just so, a form. You want to know more about me? Finally, she speaks. Nearly two days, and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Yeah, like that. Son, are you familiar with the White Fang? Of course. I don't oh, think there's a on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid, holier than thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks, if you ask me. So even the faunist. Member of the White Fang. <laughs> so she was in it, but she Wait a minute. isn't you anymore. A member of the White Fang? That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Of course, despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang rose up as our voice of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. Uh -huh. I took part in every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But she I was, was ignorant. Optimist. She didn't realize. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down. And a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. We were setting fire to shops that refused to serve us. Hijacking cargo from companies that used bonus labor. And the worst part was, it was labor. working. We were being treated like equals. But not out of respect. Out of fear. Out of fear. Hmm. So, Is this slave left. labor? I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence. And instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am. A criminal hiding in plain view. All with the help mm. of a little black bow. So, wow, that's interesting. I so can they have tails or the ears? Might be able to help? The police. Ugh, huh. Weiss. It was just an idea. Yeah, bad one. Weiss, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Ah, Penny, where did you come uh, from? Huh. Hey, guys, what are you up she to? She is so weird. Uh, We're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. She hey, knew. How did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. The penny dropped. <laughs> she does like tuna a lot. So, she does like tuna a lot. <laughs> I don't know. She's been missing since Friday. <gasps> That's terrible. Well, don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your teammate. Uh, that's really nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really. Right, guys? <laughs> nope, they're gone. It sure is windy today. <laughs> so, what's the plan now? I still don't believe the White Fang is behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. Right? The only thing is, I have no idea what I that think that was. makes sense. Well, I don't know. While I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big Shinny Company freighter. You're sure. Thanks, anyways. This is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. So, Blake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, well I'm not. Has this Penny Weiss never had is. friends or is met people before? Well, that's kind of up in the air right now. But why? 
Well, you see, Blake might not be who we thought she was. Is she a man? No, no. <laughs> is she a man? I don't know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends, but if I did, I wonder why. To talk to me about things. Me too. Did I miss anything? Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. I stole you some food. Do you always break the law without a second thought? Hey, weren't you in a cult or something? <laughs> okay, too soon. Uh oh. Is this them? Oh no. Yeah. Is that them? Yeah. Yes. It's them. All right, grab the tow cable. You really didn't think they were behind it, did you? No, I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey, what's the hold up? We're not exactly the most inconsistent. Oh yeah, it's that guy again. Moment, so why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? He's this not. Right. He's a human, though, isn't he? The white thing would never work with a human, especially not one like that. Hey, what are you doing? Uh oh, she's gonna get in trouble. No, you idiot. This isn't a leash. What the? Oh. <laughs> Nobody move. Whoa, take it easy there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why are you aiding this scum? Okay. Uh, Didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? Uh, the White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. Uh oh. I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. There's a lot. Oh no. What have you done, Blake? Oh. That's definitely going to be making some noise. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I do like the whole clockwork orange look about him. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Uh oh, it's a lot of it's a lot of bad guys. He's not bad. Huh. Oh, go Blake. Shoot him. Wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. He's got like nunchuck shotguns. Why didn't he just take the opportunity to shoot him? Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ruby, <laughs> are these people your friends? Penny, get back. No. Oh! Oh, you pissed Penny off. Don't worry, Ruby. I'm combat ready. Oh, she's a robot. Android. Whoa, she just killed dudes. Okay, okay, okay. I, li I like you, Penny. <laughs> Penny for my thoughts. I like her. <laughs> Whoa. She's
she's like the female version of Chinos. Just better. But more socially awkward. Aren't you glad you made friends of her? Boom! These kids just keep getting weirder. <laughs> I'm assuming he didn't get his loot. Impressive. They're gonna hug. Weiss, I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with up. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? Twelve hours. Uh -huh. That means I've had twelve hours to think about this. And in that twelve hours, I've decided. I hate you. That would I be a surprise. Care. You don't care. You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was younger. Up, up, up. I don't want to hear it. All I want to know is that the next time something this yeah, big comes up, that is obvious. You come to your teammates, and not some someone else. Of course. Yeah, Team Ruby is back together. <laughs> and they've gained a couple of members. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. He's like hey, a, a more buff version of John. You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. Who's that? Penny, your time will come. Hmm. Uh, Queen has pawns. Hmm. Is she somehow linked to him? Okay, um, that was pretty kick-ass, that final. Um, yeah, the final episode, I should say. Um, Penny, okay, she's a bit of an enigma. Um, is she... A, well, she's not, she's not human, she's some sort of an android robot. But the question is who designed her? Does the head teacher have anything to do with this? I've got a feeling the color coordination is on the go there. The green of the green. Um, so Blake is a faunist. And so faunists are looked down upon by humans. The, the way they made it is if there's almost slave labor by some companies. Um, you know, in terms of they recruit faunists and they use them as slave labor, which you know, the world seems pretty progressive. You wouldn't have thought that would be something that was very cool. Um, but yeah, I completely forgot really about that um, Clockwork Orange guy. Um, I guess we saw him in the first episode and he didn't really show back up again until his last one. Um, the question is, what do they need the dust for? Um, you know, obviously they've got a big operation on the go. Very interesting to learn about Blake, you know, and... Um, It really doesn't make too much of a difference, I think, to us as the audience because, you know, again, we don't really know too much about the faunists. Um, and I guess it was kind of a nice story they had with Vice, you know, where she um, overcome her prejudices, I guess you would say. Um, so, yeah. Um... Let me just check. I just want to see if there was any post. Oh, hold on. There's a post credit scene here. There's people probably shouting at me here saying, Simon, there's a post credit scene. Why didn't you watch it? Okay, let's watch it then. Um, I didn't realize there was a post credit scene. I think I remembered someone saying there was a post credit scene somewhere. So again, oh, clockwork I orange guy. Roman. <laughs> Roman. We were expecting more from you. Ooh, hello. Hey, you were the ones who suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. 
and you will continue to do so. We have oh, okay. big plans for you, Roman. Are these like is a little cooperation? Is this gonna be like the antithesis, antithesis of Team Ruby? Right, so um we yeah, so we've got um four members of what you would guess were the opposing team. Um Rowan is the guy who looks like the clockwork clockwork orange dude. Um, and then we saw two girls and another guy. I don't know if we've seen them before, but I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be like a, a classic four on four. Kind of like how um, I remember playing Lilac Wars um, or Star Fox, as it was known in the US. And, you know, you had um, Star Fox against the... Oh, I can't remember what the name was, but you had kind of like there was four enemies... Um, you know, and each one of them was kind of like equally matched against each member of Star Fox. I'm wondering if this is going to be a similar situation, which would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll move on to Volume 2. And we'll see where it goes. We'll see if there's any updates to the visual style. You know, I imagine that if Volume 1 was, uh, you know, was a success, maybe they got a bit more of a budget in the second season um, to update the graphics. So yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to see where it goes. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week for volume two.